how to export an FBX with materials from Revit that we can use elsewhere, for example, in Blender. This is what has been modeled in Revit. And here's the same model exported as an FBX in Blender. So we're going to use the Twin Motion plugins for Revit to export this kind of FBX. Google Twin Motion Revit plugin. And then if we go down to the page where it says Twin Motion Datasmith Exporter plugin for Revit, and then scroll down, we can get the archived versions. Now, the version that I downloaded of the plugin is this one here. And so we want to download one of the older ones that doesn't have the direct functionality because it works as an FBX. Depending on which version of Revit you're using, you might install this directly. However, if you're using Revit past version 2021, for example, 2022 or 2023, then the plugin won't install anything. So what we need to do is extract the information in the plugin with 7-zip. I have 7-zip installed. If you don't, it's a free software. I suggest you download it. So 7-zip and then extract files here. And this is what's contained inside of the exe file. Let's go to app data, Autodesk, Revit, add-ins. And we can go to the latest one, 2021. And we need to grab these two files here and then copy them and then paste them in your local app data. So percent app data, percent backward slash Autodesk, then Revit, then add-ins for whichever version you're working with. So I'm working with 2022 and then click enter in there. So then all we need to do is paste these two files. So the folder and the direct link add-in from here. So control C and then paste them into the roaming Autodesk Revit add-ins folder. Now, once that's done, you can start Revit again. And within Revit, you should be able to see a Twin Motion 2020 tab. So within this tab, press export while in the 3D view. And you have some settings. You can play with them to get the ones that you want. But these are the ones that I use. So I'm merging by material. I'm optimizing the mesh and I don't want to export anything else. And then you click on export and you can save an FBX file. So once you have that file saved in Blender, we can go to file and then import an FBX and then it will come in perfectly. So it's not exactly perfect. These textures typically need a lot of work, but at least we have the right textures and the right mapping applied to the areas that are using different kinds of textures. Thanks very much and see you next time.